Well, you know, um, and this is a this is a well kept secret. We actually sharpen our shins and our forearms here. Um, so let's talk about. Wait, let me see. So I'm just gonna start basic, basic foot position here. Foot coming under, and I'm flexing on that hip back here that you can't see. This foot coming up here on the hip, squeezing the knees for good control here. Show it to the other side so they yeah. can see it. So again, this foot coming underneath, I'm flexing here on the hip. And this top foot is again coming here, squeezing the knees. I think the biggest thing that I see on position wise that people do is they get here and they just leave their legs open and they don't actually control. That's just me. Is that what you see too? Well, yeah. And, and the reason, the reason we're, this is, this is important to have this, but also to be able to squeeze your knees mm -hmm. because if I'm able to push down and yeah. bounce past that knee, yeah, he's not, your, I've your lost, foot locks I've lost gone. everything. So um, I think the first foot lock almost everyone learns is the straight ankle, right? So we've got this tucked right here. I'm just gonna hook it here. And I don't wanna be real deep on this. I usually will lock it all the way back. So I'll slide until I hit this little stopper on his heel here. Boom. Once that's here, that's a good indication that the top of his foot is on my lat here. Now we'll get our figure four position on top of the shin, on top of my arm here and we're just gonna lean it back, just like so. Now, um, I've stopped doing this so much because uh, some people have very bendy feet, um, and so what Coach taught me, and I like a lot, is we're gonna take this hand instead, we're gonna lace it under, and we're just gonna switch our grip here. And you'll notice I like to give a good thumbs up because again, I sharpen this every day just for Coach, and we finish the calf here. I really like that, that's why I've, I will throw the calf before I throw the straight cow because of what you what you taught me. Yeah, I love I love that calf that uh, follow up off of the straight ankle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something you're talking about um, doing the from here doing grabbing your own forearm like yeah. so, right? So one thing that that I learned to because I would get here and I would just go and I go and I go, right? They right. push this foot to clear. And then I'd switch and I'd be like here, I'd be trying to get to get that. So right. one thing that I learned from Roly uh, Delgado is instead of wrapping under, you did everything perfect up, up until you pull back to that heel, right? Right. But instead of going here, just grab the top of your own wrist oh, right yeah. here. So if I grab my own wrist like this, right, and I pull up to my chest, almost like yeah. I'm... We call it the opera singer. Yeah, almost like That's I'm cool. scooping ice cream, right? Because I love ice cream. Yeah. So... So here, right here, I'm already, it's already tight. But if I mm -hmm. grab here, and then I just kind of go. Yeah, tap. There's a big difference. Mm -hmm. So now I just squeeze, and it's already in. If I'm standing up even, and we're playing here, scoop Whee. right in on it. I mean, yeah. you saw how your hips came up. If right. I come in for a staple here and I oh, hit that. Oh, yeah. That's you know, a good detail on that staple. It, it's, it's a good, it's a good, um, ankle lock so now so from here right so let's say like you said bendy people have bendy feet mm -hmm. right and this isn't working so I just take my hand and I slide directly in front look guys you can see my wrist here I slide right in front of that and then I just go here yeah so already it's already it's that. already there that sucks you just slide in front the rip my wrist is free and I just go here and I haven't released his leg at all mm -hmm. the pressure is still here and then I just kind of chest out, turn to the side. That fast is a great mm. lock. It's a wonderful lock. I like that a lot. Now I did mine on a uh, same side. Yeah. Like same same. Mm -hmm. You did yours. I usually like to cross back. because I'm a I'm a dirty cheater. <laughs> and I I like a cross because usually I'll go here to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the I'll honey start, hole. You like yeah. the honey hole off that. I like that a lot heel. because I always re I always read. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start playing here. So I just generally go here, but it's something I do a lot because this foot or the hand will start messing with me and anytime someone starts getting in my way i'll bounce it to the mm. other side here and so i yeah. play that a lot when i start getting tangled with things is right. i'll switch it to the side or like if i can't roll down one way i'll switch it to the side that i can lay on to add pressure like to that straight ankle mm -hmm. i'll lay on it to add a little okay so let's let's talk same side straight ankle right okay so here's my Here's my defense. Okay. Well, even in, let's let's do cross. It don't matter either one. So, everybody see this foot right here? Okay. Well, actually, I think I think Can if I we work it? it to the other side, 
So, so something that works. Okay, so he's got the ankle lock set up on this side. You really can't see it, but I want to show you, you my counter. So I play, I'll play this. I'll feed this foot, right? And guys will fall to the side to try to finish this. But I want you to watch jujitsu math, okay? So his toes are turned out here. If I roll his toes in, scoop right here, I have an esteema <laughs> lock. And you'll tap on this esteema lock yeah. before I'm going to tap on your... And I'm just locking it straight in on my chest. Mm, I uh, like that setup. If I push here to set over, to set over this foot and relieve this pressure, a lot of guys will stomp your hip with this opposite foot right here, okay? Because to finish a straight ankle lock, you have to have a power source, right? So let me, let's go, let's talk about power source real quick. Okay. So to finish a straight ankle, no matter how I have it, if I have it this way, um, this foot in his hip is my power. So I can push and extend the hip to get the lock. If I don't have this, easy day, yeah. Let's say I'm here like this, right? If I don't have a power source, I can stretch all I want, and all he's got to do is follow. Yeah. Stretch all I want. Start but if I put around. this foot, let's go back. Whoop. So from here, he pushes his foot down to escape. I stomp here, and now I can finish the straight ankle like that. But I want you to see the mistake a lot of people make. See this foot right here? Or even if they have this foot right here. This foot, watch. So what I like to play with guys that will work this. So right, right here, you I push meet it, I push this foot down. And I'll just scoot like this. As soon as they put this foot here, I won. Because to stop, go ahead and set up this. First thing I have to do is I have to put on the boot. You know how you put your boots on? You kind of kick the foot straight. I hate it when so, you do this. So that saves me a little bit. <laughs> The, the he does this a lot. He just straightens it, and then it sucks. Well, yeah, let's move it. So <laughs> I just go from here to here. So I pull my foot back. I push. And he puts his foot in. But watch. From here, I'm just going to circle under, grip, and this pressure. Yeah. Right there. It's like a toe hold. Mm -hmm. Same angle. Right. Yeah. To get this not to happen, squeeze your knees because I can't get in. Right. Now go ahead and grab the top of your fist, bring your, your hand to your chest. Now squeeze your knees. That fast. That yeah. fast. That hurt. That's how that's my counter to the leg game, to tank locks. Hmm. I go either uh esteem a lock off of your ankle. Yeah. Right, so if I if I go if I go I'm working your yeah, I'm working your straight ankle. Mm -hmm. Here. Like this. You push my foot down to go over, and I staple there, right? Yeah. Now, go for that steamer right there. Bring, pull it in, chest forward. That's it. Right there. It's just awesome. That foot's right here. And to keep that from happening, I have to be here. Yeah. Real low. I don't know if you saw. I tightened up because that sucks. So from here, if I just step over lazy, he's got the steamer. And yeah. most people will. Or they'll have the foot like this. But then if I go here, but I drop my knees together, and then everything forward, he's already ready to tap. Yeah. It's right there. That's it. That's really cool. I like those schemas. Yeah, schemas are deadly. Yeah. They are. I, I won my uh, last fight to win with an schema lock hmm. off the same exact counter. If you ever watch it, it's on Flow Grappling against Chris Hottie. He, this guy, um, him and I have battled back and forth for years, and. Um, but he likes to play legs. He likes to play legs. And at the beginning of the match, he also hit me with a straight arm bar mm. because I went past his guard and I grabbed the back of his neck. And this sucker threw this straight arm bar on me. <laughs> and literally, I, I wasn't going to tap. I, I would have tapped in class. Sure. But the fact that there's money on the line and all this, <laughs> everybody was there, my arm literally straightened out. And the good thing about having jujitsu arms is see how it's not straight. It's not, it kind of has a, maybe a, Whatever, about five, ten degree bend in that sure. arm. Well, that sucker went <laughs> like this, and when it finally bent, I was able to pull out of that. Mm. But I, I, he was attacking feet, and that's my game. And and uh, he went for that straight ankle. Yeah. And if you listen, you can hear my my guy Juan Tatum talking. He's talking to me the whole time. He's like, "Get ready for that esteema," and then boom, he put that foot over, pop, 
snapped the ankle. Oh, nice. It was done. Yeah. But it's that jujitsu map. I think. It, I think. Now I'm not going to do that when it comes to heel hooks. Sure. Heel hooks. I. I'm done. I run. I yeah. don't like heel hooks. You. You have a really good inside heel hook, and so. Does I like that heel hook. Yeah. And so. Especially if he's wearing a gi. Yeah. <laughs> but an inside heel hook. What? It plays well with your straight ankle the way you're ripping it across, mm -hmm. right? Because no gi, if you're playing your straight ankle on this side, right? right. And I'm and I got my boot on and everything else. Mm -hmm. And even if I try to sit over, if you rip this foot to the other side, here. Now yeah, it's just heel up. Nice. It's all heel. I mean, and your knees are squeezed. Mm -hmm. And this is this is a really bad position for me guys because now even if I try to bail, I can't twist this way. Yeah. Because all he's going to do is roll with me. Mm -hmm. If I go here, he rolls and he gets ahead from here. He just yeah. shoots back under. Go ahead and roll. Ro go ahead and roll. And right under, and it's, it's gone. I mean, yeah. he's holding onto that ankle. He's already twisted my knee out. So I'll bail on your straight ankle locks. I try to, anyways. But you, you're fast with them. Dylan's really fast with them. It was like before, before I got to roll with you as often as I do now, I used to love my straight ankles and my toe holds. And now I don't throw those as much anymore. They're still there, kind of mm -hmm. in, in my back pocket, but I do uh, calf slicers and heel hooks. Mm -hmm. um, and I play with the esteem a little bit more than I did. Mm -hmm. um, but those calf slicers are just mm -hmm. almost immediate, and then heel hooks, I set them up a lot better now, especially since I like to cross yeah. that side. Yeah, John Donaher has a, a really good uh, DVD out right now about his Ashigaramis and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, that whole Ashi game setting up heel hooks and straight ankle locks and everything else and it's like as soon as somebody tries to clear your leg off of one side you're locking it into the other side and so it's just completely switching back right. and forth from leg to leg it's such a it's such a fast-paced confusing game i really think i really good single leg x positions and everything else i really think that's